Welcome back. Our next story is about the Quincy Library that has expanded its hours and is working to improve services. Reporter Jeff Chu has the story. Perhaps no one can tell the story of the Quincy Public Library better than Cherie Yabara. She's worked as a librarian there for 20 years. Yabara recalled how minimal the library was 20 years ago. It was a lot smaller. Um, the old library used to be over on B Street, over by the police station, and that building was a 3,000 square foot building, um, a little tiny small one, and when I started working, nobody really used the library. Um, mostly um, the senior citizens would use it during the day, and maybe just a handful of kids. So we worked really hard on trying to make the library a fun place to be, and uh, it's definitely grown over the years. Three years ago, the city actually had raised enough money along with our fundraising efforts, and they received grants, and so we were lucky enough to build this new library that we're currently in, um, and this one is just over 9,000 square feet, so it's tripled the size from the old library. Today, as senior librarian, Yavara was given permission to expand the library's daily hours, including all day Saturdays and four hours on Sundays. She said that decision came from North Central Regional Library System Executive Director Dan Howard and city officials. Longer hours will mean additional staff. Well, we currently now will have three full-time staff, and we've had three um, what we call librarian assistants, our substitutes, and we have three high school helpers that work after school hours. So um, we're actually hoping to hire a few more library assistants. Um, since we've expanded our hours, we just, as of January 2nd, expanded our hours, so we're open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., uh, Friday, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sundays from 1 to 5. So we've increased our hours quite a bit. So with that, we have more staffing and just we'll need more, more coverage. The Quincy Library has special features, including a sunroom with a fireplace and a conference room with a learning center for visiting school children. Ibarra explained how the library system can afford to expand Quincy's hours. The library system gets money from property taxes, so all the different um, towns that have the libraries, and 1% of the property tax goes back into the library district. And then they also try and share money back to the cities to help maintain the building. And they recently had just some discussions when they renewed the contract, and the city of Quincy had just said, you know what, we want more for our, our tax dollars. Improvements in service will benefit young people. We're going to start um, adding every Tuesday starting next week. We're going to do like a teen program. That can be a range of, um, we've had a lot of requests for like Lego clubs for like lots of different building stuff, creative writing, um, painting, scrapbooking, all different kinds of things. We're going to switch, switch it up. Um, and then we're also going to add activities on Saturdays. So probably a game day or Lego club or something. So just to provide more activities for the kids. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back.